One thing I do know is I was blind uh, and now I see. And that sight didn't come from me pursuing what I wanted. It came 100% from him pursuing me. Been going to this church now for uh, probably about nine months or so. Um, and I am a fairly new Christian. Uh, again, I'm a, a second generation pastor's kid on both sides. So both my mom and my dad's parents were pastors, both of them in the Assembly of God. So I grew up in the church. Throughout my life, tried to be uh, a lot of different people. Um, the Marines, uh, the party guy, um, a DJ, um, a bunch of things that uh, I kind of put my hand to. Um, and it all kind of, uh, in a sense, was running from who God wanted me to be. Uh, and I knew from a very young age uh, that God wanted me to pursue Him. And I denied that. You know, I could, I could make excuses why, but it comes down to me just running and being afraid. I felt like I've been on a cycle my whole life where I would do bad things and then repent and come back to God. And, and it was just this cycle that was just, uh, seemed never ending and uh, a little bit hope, hopeless. This last cycle was different because I had uh, gone so far off on my own that I didn't believe in Jesus. Um, it's not that I didn't believe in God, I, uh, I, I did believe in God, but I wanted to believe in my own form of God. I'll well, just put it in, in, in words I can kind of understand and in a story that happened to me and how I came to faith this time. I was sitting at a garage sale. <laughs> um, this gentleman comes up and uh, it's like he's looking into my soul. I believe the Lord said, well, I know the Lord sent him to me to, to snap me out of whatever was going on. Um, Michael said to me, after some small talk, he looked straight at me and said, it's all real. The Lord, uh, Jesus, the devil, demons, it's all real. And whether you believe it or not, it's all real. And that I'd never really heard someone say it like that with the conviction behind his eyes, or maybe I was just ready to hear it. And I had, I had been crying out to, if there was a God earlier that week, God help me, you know, because I, I don't know what to do anymore. And so he sent that man. I know the words of the Bible, but it never transferred from here to here uh, until I didn't do it as for somebody else. I did it because I was desperate. There was a video and it was called The Good Shepherd. And in this video, uh, this man was filming Bedouin shepherds. He watched one just kind of go off by himself um, and he followed that one. I just felt like, wow, that sheep is me. You know, it's, it's, I'm constantly going off by myself away from the shepherd. And then I heard uh, the sound of the shepherd's voice. It broke me down because he was talking to me. The shepherd came and picked up the sheep and carried it back. And that's the, the whole leave the 99 to find the one. That, that scripture became real. And that is, is what happened, is scripture became real to me. Forgiveness became real to me. And I believe um, that because I've obeyed him, he brought me to this place. And now I see this reconciliation in my family, my wife, my daughter my mom, my stepdad, my dad and my stepmom have even come. Uh, I was standing in the back of the church um, serving as an usher and I, I, I was looking and my family took up a row and a half. And uh, it just made me thank God because he brought me to this place. And I think he brought me at least at this time, to say this to uh, somebody who's listening out there, you know, it's all real. It's all real. God 
Jesus, the devil, his demons, it's all real. And he wants you to rediscover. He wants you to rediscover him and his true church because uh, his church is beautiful.